Good morning, everyone. You may be seated. Thank you. Good morning. I would like to welcome everyone in attendance today to the inaugural oath-taking ceremony for the Department of Human Movement Science uh, in 2022. A special welcome to our Director of Schools for Health Science, um, Professor Zoleka Soji, welcome, and Learning and Teaching Directorate for Health Science, Professor Ali, welcome. I'd also like to thank the media team uh, for their setup, uh, to Philip, Cabello, Anya, and Jarita, welcome. Thank you for being here. I would also like to welcome our HMS staff members and our interim HOD, Dr. Colvardia. And most importantly, I would like to welcome our students who will be taking the pledge today. So welcome. I'll be a master ceremonies for today's program. And for those of you who do not know, I think most of you should know except for the sports management students. Uh, I'm Mr. Matthew Bonesi and I'm the program coordinator and lecturer for the Bachelor of Human Movement Science program, as well as a graduate. So hopefully one day we'll see all of you guys up here in gowns like us as well. It is an absolute pleasure and honor to be standing here today in front of all of you to witness the pledges that you will be taking for our three programs, which include the Diploma in Sports Management, the Bachelor of Human Movement Science, and the Bachelor of Health Science in Biokinetics. A few years ago, we all thought that we would never ever be back on campus attending classes as normal and doing sports and practicals. And finally, we are here. It has been a tough few years for both staff and students dealing and living through the COVID pandemic. But it is so wonderful to see everybody in attendance today, and we look forward to continuing this amazing journey with you. Just a program for today, we just had the academic procession the welcome address, then we will have the address by the director of school, the address by our guest speaker, then we will have the Diploma in Sport Management Pledge, followed by the Bachelor of Human Movement Science Pledge, and lastly, the BHSC in Biokinetics Pledge, followed by the vote of thanks. Please could I ask our director of schools, Professor Zuleka Soji, to come forward for address. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. You're looking very serious this morning. <laughs> and yet I was told that you are a very vibrant group. So I'm very pleased uh, to be standing in front of you. As you heard, my name is Olega Soji. I will most probably work with you when you are in your honors degree, where I will teach you qualitative research methodology. So I've been asked to speak for five minutes. I'm not going to waste your time. Just to also congratulate the Department of Human Movement Sciences for this occasion, this event. This is a very special event in the life of a student, especially a student who is in a professional degree like yourselves. The vision of the Faculty of Health Sciences is to co-create critically thinking graduates with transformative action, who change the world by being in service of society. This vision, therefore, requires you to be an engaged citizen. Today, as you undertaking the oath, remember that you're making a public declaration to abide by the professional ethics as well as values of your discipline. You are entering into a social contract with the self first and those that you'll be serving. You're also making this public declaration to abide by the principles as well as the core values of your discipline as well as of Nelson Mandela to serve those with human dignity and respect. You are also entering into a social contract with your alma mater, which is Nelson Mandela University. So you're representing Nelson Mandela University. 
This oath, therefore, highlights your professional values and ethics. And I'm hoping that you will know, or you do know, your professional values and ethics. It is a means to increase collective and individual accountability. We want you to be an accountable student. It is a promise that you are making to yourself, your discipline, and society at large, that you will at all times abide and be guided by the values of the faculty. And here I want to highlight three values of the faculty. We speak about excellence, we speak about integrity, and we speak about responsive wellness and responsibility. So we want you to, to keep those values as, as well as those of Mandela University so that you can be able to exhibit behavior that is characteristic of the person who the university is named after. So I want to wish you well in this journey. And again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much, Prof. Soji. Can we have another round of applause? Thank you. <laughs> Always such value in your speeches and your talks. And I hope that everybody was paying attention, and you were, because I was watching you. Um, but yes, the values are very important, and I'm sure that we, we have the highest of hopes of all our students to carry out those values that you just mentioned, so thank you. Um, just for some interest for, for the students, you're probably wondering why are we, our staff members, wearing these gowns. So the, the black gowns is for those who have graduated with their degrees um, or their diplomas, and the red gowns are the doctors in the house. So as you can see, we have two doctors, and then Professor Leka Soji is a professor, so she's got, you know, all the bling. So thank you once again, Prof. <laughs> um, our next speaker, unfortunately, couldn't be here with us today, but he has um, sent us a video recording of himself. So I'd just like to do a quick introduction of who is going to be speaking to you next. So our next speaker is Mr. Solomon Mudege, and he is also a proud Mandela University alumnus who first graduated with a BCom in HMS, so Human Movement Science, Sport and Recreation in 2005. He also has his master's degree in human movement science and has also done the FIFA CIES Nelson Mandela University program, sport management graduate, which is an international master's in management, law, and humanities of sport that he completed at three different institutions over the world, which include in the United Kingdom, Italy, as well as Switzerland. Mr. Solomon Mudege once was a first year at our institution like all of you here today. Upon graduating, Mr. Mudege began his career working for FIFA in Switzerland, starting as a FIFA master trainee, followed by the FIFA Marketing Alliances Manager, and is now the Senior, D senior Development Manager at, uh, excuse me, Manager at FIFA. So please, if you're ready, could you please play Mr. Mudege's address? Thank you. Good day, everyone. Um, thank you for your invitation uh, to me to be part of uh, this uh, first year plate ceremony. My name is Solomon Mudege. I work in, for FIFA uh, here in Zurich as the head of development programs in Africa uh, within our member associations division. I'm also a proud alumnus of the HMS department and the Nelson Mandela University. So it is indeed my pleasure uh, be part of this pledge ceremony and to give some few words of encouragement to the class as they embark on an exciting journey of academic discovery. I hope uh, that you can all hear me. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't be a part of this event in person, but uh, I hope that I'll be able to share my words through this uh, through this message. And uh, we have uh, sent some so few uh, souvenirs, which I hope will be uh, interesting for you and serve as a uh, cool reminder of uh, this particular day. Um, when Dr. Kovadia asked me to be a part of this event, I think uh, my immediate thoughts was 
what can I share which uh, the three student groups uh, within the BHMS, the biokinetic group and the national diploma in sports management? What could you take away and uh, what could be useful for you as you embark on your studies? And I'd like to just point out three uh, topics or three lessons that I learned while I was still a student uh, within the HMS department. And I hope that these uh, apply for you and that you'll be able to uh, use them as you go ahead. The first one is something that should be self-evident, and it's always to give your best effort in everything that you do within your studies. Don't do it half-heartedly, do it well, and always try and give your best effort. Uh, there are opportunities, there are scholarships, uh, which are available for those who excel academically. Uh, there are opportunities that come from doing well in your tasks that you're given. So in all instances, uh, give your best effort. The second one is always uh, seek opportunities to apply what you learn. So in the class, you'll do diverse different modules, anatomy, sports management, exercise science, uh, exercise physiology, sports psychology. There are different things that you'll be doing. In all these, there's always an opportunity to apply what you're learning, uh, to be to join or be part of uh, groupings or work environments where you can actually see what you're learning being uh, utilized. When I was in um, doing the HMS course, I had the pleasure of working with a sports shop in, in uh, Summerstrand and also being a referee within the uh, Port Elizabeth Football Association. And that was something where I benefited from the networking as well as the opportunities and then sometimes the money that you can work make while you're uh, learning uh, the different aspects of sport. The third aspect I would say is develop your soft skills and find your unique selling point. So there'll be lots of people who have your qualification uh, globally as well as in South Africa. How do you stand apart? How do you uh, give something extra be beyond your degree in this competitive world that we have? And you, that is through the, the soft skills that you might develop. If you're good at something, if you're good at programming, Excel, if you're good at a language, uh, it's something that you should always try and continue to develop so that it serves you well in your future. With those three short um, messages, I really wish you well and wish you all the best for your studies. And I look forward to meeting you soon as we continue to engage uh, with the Nelson Mandela University. Thank you. Thank you. Obviously, Solomon can't hear me, but thank you. If he watches the recording, thank you very much for your address. And isn't it such a wonderful success story? And it gives, I hope it's giving all of our students sitting here today some kind of a vision and a goal to work, uh, to work towards. Um, just showing you what you can achieve one day. Okay, it doesn't have to end when you leave here. Okay, it, can, it all starts when you are here. And we really encourage you to try and do as much as possible in the three or four years that you're with us. Okay, see it as a nice stepping stone into the working world. And this is just proof um, of success that you can achieve one day. Quick quiz, because I like my quizzes. And well, last year was a lot of quizzes, but this year not so many quizzes. Where is the World Cup happening this year? Who was that? Qatar, yes, well done. Round of applause to you. We'll, uh, I'm sure one of the colleagues will give you um, another quiz. <laughs> uh, a pat on the back in your next class. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so yeah, just once again, thank you very much to Solomon for, for his short and sweet address. Um, thank you for that. Okay, so moving forward, we have now come to what we're all here for today, uh, the pledges. So could I please ask the class rep for the Diploma in Sport Management to please come up onto the stage? Uh, good morning, everyone. Okay. In the presence of family, friends, educators, and fellow students, I, Sonia, 
hereby take this pledge as a sport management student within the health sciences faculty. As I embark on developing myself into becoming a professional sport manager in the service of society, I promise, I promise to uphold the values embraced by the Nelson Mandela University, the Faculty of Health Sciences, and the Department of Human Movement Sciences. These being integrity, professionalism, excellence, accountability, social responsiveness, and resilient wellness. As a sport management student, I will do my best to understand and respect my academic and personal responsibilities, my freedom of expression, my duty to respect and serve a fellow human being, and my obligation to protect the environment that I share with others. I will strive to be a hardworking and reflective student using every opportunity presented to grow in my profession. I will honor those who teach and mentor me, as well as those who guide my practical and life skill de development. I will continuously embark on, on learning with gratitude, humanity, and will not be swayed by greed, prejudice, or selfish ego in this process, nor in the practice of my profession. May I always have the courage and character to uphold this pledge, sacred from this day forward as I pay myself in the service of humankind. This oath I make solemnly, freely, and uphold my honor. Thank you. Thank you very much. May I please ask the class for the National Human Movement Science Program to come up? And can the students please stand? Greetings to all. Uh, I would like you to repeat after me. Okay. In the presence of family, in the presence of family, friends, friends, educators, educators, and colleagues, and colleagues, I take this pledge, I take this pledge as a human movement scientist, as a human movement scientist, student, student, within the health science faculty, within the health science faculty. I pledge to uphold the, the university, I pledge to uphold the university faculty. And department values. As I embark as I embark on developing myself into a professional in service of society. In my pursuit to becoming an excellent human scientist, I promise to uphold values and brave. By Nelson, University, by Nelson Mandela University, as I embark on my journey on my towards becoming the full vision of myself. I promise to uphold the faculty studies of integrity, professionalism, excellence, accountability, social Social responsibility and resilience wellness. As a human movement science student, I will do my best to understand and respect my academic and personal responsibilities. My freedom of expression. My duty, my duty to serve others and the environment that I share with others. I will strive to reflect to students using every opportunity presented to develop in my profession. I will honor those who teach and mentor me in my academic pursuit and skill development. I will continuously embark 
On lily and gratitude and humanity. On lily and gratitude and humanity. And this, and this, I will not, I will not be swayed, be swayed by greed, by greed, prejudice, or self selfish ego, or selfish ego in the practice of my profession. In the practice of my profession. I will respect, I will respect the communities, the communities within which I live. Engaging, engaging, and will present myself with the integrity. And will present myself with the integrity. That is demonstrable. That is demonstrable for a very committed student. For a very committed student. May I always, may I always have the courage, have the courage and the character, and character to uphold these principles. To uphold these principles. Secure from the same. Secure from the same. Forward as I face myself. Forward as I face myself. Into the service of humankind. Into the service of humankind. This pledge, I make, I make solemnly, solemnly, freely, freely, and upon my own. Uh, apologies for that, it's supposed to be Bachelor of Human Movement Science. But um, thank you very much for that. Can I please ask the classes for the BHC program to come forward? Thank you. Okay, guys, please read along with me. In the presence of family, friends, educators, and colleagues, I take this pledge as a biokinetic student within the health sciences faculty. I pledge to uphold the university, faculty, and department's values as I embark on developing myself into a professional in service of society. In my pursuit to becoming an excellent health professional, I promise to uphold the values embraced by Nelson Mandela University as I embark on my journey toward becoming the full version of myself. I promise to uphold the faculty's values of integrity, professionalism, excellence, accountability, social responsiveness, and resilient wellness. As a biokinetic student, I will do my best to understand and respect my academic and personal responsibilities, my freedom of expression, my duty to serve others, and the environment that I share with others. I will strive to be a reflective student using every opportunity presented to develop in my profession. I will honor those who teach and mentor me in my academic pursuit and clinical skill development. I will continuously embark on learning with gratitude and humility. In this, I will not be swayed by greed, prejudice, or selfish ego in the practice of my profession. I will respect communities within which I learn from, engage in, and will present myself with the integrity that is demonstrable for a biokinetic student. May I always have the courage and character to uphold these principles sacred from this day forward as I place myself into the service of humankind. This pledge I make solemnly, freely, and upon my honor. Thank you very much. Um, wow, the student spoke very, very well. I wish I was that confident and outspoken when I was in first year, and I can promise you I was not. I think some of my lecturers would attest to that, Doc B. I was, I was very quiet in class, but yeah, I am today. Silence is golden sometimes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Can we have one more round of applause for everybody? Thank you. Thank you. So, on behalf of the, of the department, we would just like to thank a few, a few individuals and people. Um, so, for organizing, the colleagues who have helped out, without them, this event would not have been possible. So, Shona, Caitlin, and Z, thank you very much. Uh, to the steering committee, also known as the Oath-Taking Ceremony Committee, uh, Dr. Galvadia, Mrs. Sue Ann Koch, and Mr. Vernon Oersteisen. I was also in there, so myself, thank you. Uh, 
A very big thank you to our guest speaker, Professor Zolek Asoji and Mr. Modeghe. Thank you. <laughs> to the media and support team, Jarita, Philip, Anya and Cabello, thank you guys very much. <laughs> Fantastic job. Oh, lastly, um, also to Solomon uh, Mudeghe and FIFA for sponsoring the items in the goodie bags for the students that you will receive after this. Thank you. <laughs> that was by far the biggest cheer. I think I must add myself in line and see if it was louder. Thank you very much. Please can I ask Professor Soji to come up and accept a small token of appreciation from the department. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Prof. Thanks. All right, that uh, concludes our ceremony for this morning. Please can we ask the students to remain seated while the academic procession leaves the venue. But please also note that when the students, when you leave, please you can collect a goodie bag at the entrance of the venue. Okay, so please do not leave without one. Um, but thank you very much for taking part in being here. I, I honestly, can say with a surety that I know that you will uphold the pledges that you took today. And it's so wonderful seeing everybody in person and we wish you the best for the rest of the second semester. Thank you.